with the Thuis Young Honey, and we're playing Far Cry 5. Usually, I'd start things from the very beginning, but this is my sister's save file, and what you're looking at right now is where she gave up because she's soft. Just so, so incredibly soft. I got, I got a few, I got a few different things to talk about in this video. A few controversial subjects such as which bubbly water is best. It's Crystal Bay, dog. It would never not be Crystal Bay. Right, we, we get rid of that. Sensitivity's mad high. But just so y'all know. Just right off the bat. Crystal Bay is without a doubt the best bubbly water out there. Ooh. You're free, my G. So, I don't... <clears throat> I set her up on New Game Plus, right? Like, everything. She had everything. This is on easy mode, dog. And she gave up. Because my sister's Charmin Ultra Soft. Lowering my sensitivity just weensy weensy. Too much. <laughs> Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> And play. Yeah, fuck it. Well, I didn't realize that that was really an option, but we'll play this on hard. Um. Ooh. I've been playing a lot of far. It may take me a second to adapt, but um, I'd rather play this at full difficulty. Crystal Bay water and I'm not even promoted by them. Alright, real quick. <clears throat> Top three bubbly waters. You got Crystal Bay. You got Kirkland Ice's knockoff. So you know that bubbly water ice? Kirkland, like the Costco brand, they got a knockoff. Fucking fire. Alright. Polar. Now, there are some strong opinions about Polar out there, but I fuck with it. I really, really, really like Polar. They got an orange vanilla flavor. <clears throat> All right, let's be Clutch Nixon. Just so you know my top three though. I got, I got my top 10 set up. I also got my top 10 sodas. I can't, I honestly don't remember how I ranked things. The top 10 soda was a hard list just because like there are a few sodas that, weirdly enough, sentimental value. Oh man, I'm so fucked, I'm so fucked. Low key, a lot, a lot of people did not fuck with the Clutch Nixon missions, and I get it, they're frustrating. I'm probably gonna get mad frustrated while doing these, like, over the course of this Let's Play. But, um, I love the Clutch Nixon story, like, dog. Like, they really expand upon that in the Lost on Mars DLC. And it's just golden. It's just golden. It's the biggest pain in the ass in Far Cry, I think. It might actually be one of the biggest pains in the ass in Far Cry. But I think, unlike other ones, it, it deserves it. it. Has its own fucking theme song, man. Come on. Oh, come on, not like this. Let's go. Alright, while we reload. 
The next two are back to back. So we're talking four and five on the best bubbly water list. Perrier is number four, because I fuck with that a lot more than the next one, which is San Pellegrino. Now these classics, I, uh, I won't lie, I feel a level of prestige when drinking them. But at the same time, that so far from my go-to's. You know, like I, I really, really, really like my top three. Hmm. I'm gonna want my gun back. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't fuck with those bubbly waters as much. But they're still, they're still in the top five. From here on out, it gets a little dicey for me. Just because those are really the ones that like I'll rock with entirely, and the other ones are just, you know, if they're around, they're around. You feel me? Um. I'm pretty set on prepper stashes. I might as well go through and just do them on the way, I guess. Like, that would make a pretty fair amount of sense. Let me see if I can fast travel. Yeah, all right. So, <clears throat> the rest of this list, I'm only drinking these if they're the only thing around. Starting with Waterloo. I'm sorry, Waterloo. I can't fuck with you. Next up is that bubbly water. I do think that it's solid. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with it. It's all right. You know? It's like out of all the out of all the rough ones, that's probably the good old reliable. You feel me? Um So thank God for that one. The next one there is a uh, sparkling ice, which is, my number two is that Kirkland knockoff uh, of that beverage. I prefer the knockoff to the original there. And then lastly is number nine. I don't actually have a 10, confusing. Oh, um, number nine, the last one, LaCroix. Bro, I fucking hate LaCroix. That shit is so butt cheeks. I literally can't think of a worse soda. Whoever made, like, whoever decided on LaCroix gave up. Oof. It's not looking good. Goodbye. For that. <laughs> I keep pressing B to pull open my parachute. I do like Grace. I do like Grace. She's a nice lady. I gave up a really good position for this. I don't need to read the fucking note. I've... I've played this Far Cry more than any other Far Cry. I think... Far Cry 5 might be my favorite just because it expands enough from Far Cry 4 that I was really, really, really content. Come on. I was literally just about to say, they give you the shovel. This is the most OP weapon in any game I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I, I thought I'd seen some shit with overpowered weapons in Call of Duty and in Fortnite with the fucking double pump. But this shovel, Jesus. You win some, you lose some. <clears throat> Let me reset my recording. Reset it. Okay, this doesn't have electricity on yet. So I believe that my path is through here. And I believe that these little bastards are gonna give me some trouble.
safe distance this time. This is also way too much work for what it's worth. Like, I can absolutely guarantee that. Like, none of this is necessary. <laughs> if you're watching this one for a tutorial, buddy. I'm gonna do a lot of things right. I may do a few things wrong and I'll point them all out. But that shit could be so much easier. God damn it. But here, basically you just wanna fucking bounce around until you get here. Ooh, that's red. Mmm. Actually, John takes literally everything from us at one point throughout all this. Like, like you get snatched up by his goons and they straight don't let you out with, like, with your stuff. And they take all your bread too. I'd like to avoid that if possible. <laughs> I love liberating outposts in this game. I don't think I have the fucking dog though. I do. Hello, boomer. Oh man, my dog huffed because he knew that I was talking about a different dog. Sorry, Jim. Got some upgrades over here. All right, I do have the dog. I don't know what side mission is over there. Actually, I do think I know. I think that's at an outpost. I'm gonna go liberate this place. I don't really need Boomer when I have Ultimate Hunter. I am going to need to find some Jimson weed though. I know that I have it on my maps. I'm not too pressed. Oh, I'm going to... Fuck I just hear from you? The fuck I just hear from you? This shotgun sight in the dick, buddy guy. You too, pal. Shotgun sniper is fucking filthy. If you haven't discovered the meta, you, you gotta discover it, dog. Oh, I don't like those sounds. Scam! Coming up on our location. And I'm fairly confident that we're gonna take this with relative ease, even though I'm still kind of off on my controls and how to fucking move. That's the biggest thing for me. I, I I don't like the alarms getting rung. You're down. You're down. Tu también, amigo. Hasta la vista, baby. Fuck you! 
Go get him, dog. of it's on fire. That ain't bad work. Undetected. <coughs> no? No, no, no. Pastor Jerome is selfish and missed. We're gonna reel up on all of this stuff right now. Actually, no, I need to maintain having loot. Hmm. It's a little difficult for me right now, fellas. First things first. Where's the... Where's the one that shows them hard? The Rook outfit. There we go. You complete it on Infamous, you get the Rook outfit. No achievement. Get this outfit that you only see when you liberate outposts. Because isn't that what true satisfaction is? Oh man. I think I got wrapped up in what I was doing on screen while I was, talk while I was trying to talk about it. Trying to talk about my bubbly water list. Let's get back to that real quick. Because there's only one left. And if I've already said it, I already said it. But number nine, the final one is LaCroix. That shit's ass. A couple of people screaming in my hallway. Hope you want to be in a YouTube video, pal. Talk to me. Great job getting this place back from the cult. A squad tried to defend the garage, but they were too much for us. We got caught and they locked us up. They were gonna decide if we go to John. My friends are missing. I know where your homies at. This one's in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, ma'am, I know, I know. Spare your dignity, ma'am. Let me reset recording. Reset it. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, Boomer, don't, don't take that fight. I can one shot these fellas. And there's another one in here I want you to fight. I would make boomers of it, don't care. I. Man, I want to go free falls at. One of my favorite missions. Alright, I know about what's going on with Grace. We we discussed. Alright, I'm gonna try to catch up with these fellas. Let's go. Having an alien ray gun is so helpful, man. So helpful, dude. <laughs> I'm 
Nah, I don't need Shoddy Sniper to win. I already got their fucking crap. Alright, I think I'm actually close to Larry Parker, but I want to get Falls in. I think maybe I already liberated it. Because I do have the location unlocked, I guess. Gotta go check my watch. There are only two paths left. Salvation or death. Okay, word. Oh, that's kind of upsetting. I love this mission. But as long as Falls End is safe, that's all that really matters. Because that's what true heroes care about. Get out of your egocentric bubbles. playing video games on YouTube. I, I can't have a holier than that attitude towards anyone. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go speak with the goat. Apparently I've already robbed the safe. I mean, Say less, Jerome. The folks who stayed at Woods of the Farm told me that the cult has a defector. He saw breath. Say less. I know what we're doing. That's kind of fucking far. But you know what it's a good time for? It's a great fucking time to bust out the Blood Dragon Mobile. Oh, yes. Taking off my glasses. All right, I'm turning on auto drive. All right, so soda, let's talk. Number one holds some sentimental value for me. All right, this one's called Diet Dr. Brown's. I like the black uh, cherry soda and the cream soda. This shit hits so hard. You go into any Jewish like deli or, 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 or place like that, and you find it. They sell it at Target. It's under the ethnic section at my Target. I don't really get why. Um, like it's it, it, like it's right next to the fucking Manischewitz and other like Jewish food type things. Like feels wrong to me. But it's by the ethnic section in some targets. Um, it goes so hard. My dad put me on to it, and I've been drinking that since I was a little kid. The second one. I drink this way too often, way more than I should. I, I'm, I'm actively quitting. That's why it's not number one. But I do the do. I really fuck with Mountain Dew. That shit goes so hard. I'll probably make a ranking of like the different flavors that they have. Because you know, they got a lot of fucking flavors, my G. Oh, um, all right. I don't think I'm saving those people. Number three, controversial. It was a controversial one, y'all, and I'm sorry. It's Pepsi. It's Pepsi, because it's better than Coke. Number four, a little bit of an oddball, but hear me out. A reliable, safe choice in Mr. Pip. I like Mr. Pig because it's a friend. It's just, it's never gonna do you wrong. So many sodas are gonna do you wrong, they'll go flat and taste bad. Mr. Pig is gonna taste good no matter what condition it's in. It's gonna taste like fucking Mr. Pig. All right, number five though. I'm going off road, so I'm gonna put this down for now. Number five. We talking Bark's root beer. I like all root beers, and I like some artisanal root beers better than Barks. I just wanted to make sure that this list was like fairly inclusive. 
All right, I'm putting in some slugs so that this turns into an actual shotgun sniper. Um, but yeah, those are my top, those are my top five. Now you guys know more about me than the person I'm seeing. I'm telling y'all, shotgun sniper. Can the slug go through it? The slug can go through walls. Really gave me the benefit of the doubt on a few of those. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, dog. I don't want anyone else using that. You can actually use assault rifles in this Far Cry because they don't have weird ass bullet systems like Far Cry 6, which I do think is actually a fairly creative way to go about changing the games and trying to get people to unlock more stuff and kind of continue gameplay. But even still, I don't know. Let me reset my recording. Reset it. Pretty sure there's something in here I gotta grab. Ah, uh, if I have to come back here and grab one of the collectible items, and I missed it, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Bro, you're ugly as hell. Alright, let's talk. Y'all ain't ready for what I'm about to do to these fucks. Keep on your throwing. There we go. You're not dead? Keep shit. Thank you, auto aid. You are now bait. Aggressive with him. I don't like getting a little aggressive with him. Alright, we still got the fast going for us. Why the fuck have I never thought to use that before right now? This is literally the first time I've thought, oh yeah, let me use that shit that makes you move even faster to make my life easier here. Oh, that's going up in points. Buddy, I gotta drop you a second. While I'm carrying this food, let me just flip over my little note for you. Oh, then you Ooh. The rest of this list low key goes hard. I'm not gonna lie. Boil some water. Like a tennis. 
Are hey, you in the boat? Get fucked. Get fucked. Let's fucking go. Matter of fact, I think I'll go pray with Pastor Jero. Oh, man. Deputy, I know there's a long way to go, but Uh, I'm just gonna go greet my fate with dignity. I think this is where they steal all my shit. I think this is where those bastards steal all my shit. Matter of fact, come try to fucking straighten me, buddy. Come do it. Hmm. I fucked it. Ain't no way. <laughs> you can come back around, pal. I'm willing to try again. I'm not even a good shot, though. Truck missions. Yeah, but I mean, fuck it, why not, right? I have a feeling that John Seed's just gonna try to capture us pretty soon anyway. But while we're in the loading screen, number six on the soda list is Fago. That shit's gas. You don't you you don't gotta fuck with ICP to know that that shit's gas. All right, number seven, that's Sprite. Okay, that's where it is. It's a good spot. It's a good soda. It's a decent spot, you know? Get back to the rest in a moment because the last three are where it gets hey, real controversial. Just over there. You can't move very well. Learning about Wendell Redmond. Feel much better if I'll you go with on, on Wendell when I get a chance. Um, but I do skid up. Wow. Armor piercing round should be your biggest expense in Far Cry 5. Um. I think I did the testy festy already. That's unfortunate. Like that. Most folk take one look at Eden's gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. My dad was one of the first to stand up to him. Anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble, dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. Called it the Widowmaker. And those fuckers stole it from him a week before. I tell you what, baby girl, I'll go get your truck for you. I'll tell you what. Piss off the cult. Dang the old graduate will make her bang, 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 and boom, and then right up. Dang old stone. And give the folks here something to cheer about. Locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. Resetting recording?
Young Honey again. If you've been enjoying this video, I think you may enjoy my new project, Healthy Water. Please go check it out if you got a chance. Link is in the description and uh, the music is pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Either way, thanks for your time. Back to the video, I appreciate you. Reset. I didn't do the testy festy yet. That's next up. If y'all aren't familiar with the testy festy, I feel bad for you, son. Kind of far off. And I'd have to take the fertilizer company first. I'm open to this. I'm open to this. All right, so the last three. Number eight, Mountain Lightning. It's at Walmart, go try it out. It's almost identical to Mountain Dew, except it's 99 cents. It's worth it. <laughs> Number nine, carbonated three week old bong water. And number 10, Coca-Cola. Now please keep in mind that number nine was carbonated three week old bong water. Okay. Number 10 was Coca-Cola. Now if Coca-Cola wanted to make a quality product, and that, that was a cola, then <laughs> they would have just developed Pepsi. <laughs> I'll die on that hill. Damn, my low key flew into some nice positioning here. I'm super vulnerable, like, looking wise. Uh -uh. I'm not gonna lie, that fucked me a little bit. <laughs> But I only took a little bit of fall damage. Hmm. Okay, boy. I got Boomer scouting for me. I'm gonna throw an Ultimate Hunter just to make shit easy. I don't wanna bother no snipers. Dog, take some initiative. Kill that guy. I believe we're done here. Undetected. <laughs> I am stealth. about this news. Kill the Colts drugged up 
Let's see how well these guys do. Against the I've accidentally killed a teammate. But yeah, let's see how well they end up doing against a uh, fucking laser gun. Fuck out of here. Let me go talk to some more people here. God damn it. Fucking dog shit. Damn. What about C4? I did put in effort. We missed some key exposition, but that's Hudson. If you don't know this game, it's Hudson. It's one of our homies. This guy. I can't say that he's a homie. It'd be real difficult for me to do that. I don't I don't want to watch myself get another tattoo. That was like all of Far Cry 3. Dang all yeah, man. They took my shit. They they straight up just took my shit. And you know, I don't get it back when I leave. I think all that money's gone. Thank God I still got clothes on. Damn. Fucking robbery. <coughs> this session is going to end with John C. dead. Then the next session we do, we'll work on clearing out his county. back here I thought <laughs> okay I only get one slot good to know
and I can't hear those footsteps right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna grab that handgun, but we're, st we're sticking with Mayor. Right? Reset. God damn it. I'm fucked. I'm gonna have to reset this. Use power ups. All three of them I have a plan for. Oh, they're starting me all the way back here. I probably used those way too early, but we're gonna use a few of these. I'm not even gonna grab the gun. Artificial skin be pale and like a lizard. Made from carbon and they breathe, but they addicted, they want ease. Is that how you eliminate all your threats, Jonathan? Yes, it is, other Jonathan. No issues anymore. Fuck John C. Give them all the wrath they can handle, brothers. Say yes. Give my life in the name of the father. Oh man, what the fuck, dogs? I thought somos hermanos. The, the hermanos game. Your sin consumes you, blinds you to all the harm you inflict. It allows you to dispense of human life so easily. Have you ever given so much as a second thought to killing? How many people did I kill on the way out of there? And how much shit was he talking Drive the center from this place. Let them about me killing them people? For no matter where they go, God will guide us to them. And how many people try to kill me?
Okay. We're, we're, we're making good progress. But here's the thing. This is the first session. I want to make great progress. While we're walking over to Grace, <clears throat> here's my top five carbonated beverage list. Number one is Crystal Bay. Number two is that Diet Dr. Brown's. That shit is gaseous. Number three is Mountain Dew. Number four is Polar Bubbly Water. And number five is Carbonated Three-Week-Old Bond Water. I love that shit so much. Fucking tasty. I probably shouldn't go to Grace with zero guns. That would be an unfortunate decision. Fuck it, we're helping Marl. 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 I may have drank too much of this for it to work, but I'll show it on a different stream. If you take a bottle like that and you tap it, while holding the cap like that, you get a really cool percussion sound. Producer pro tips. For all the producers. First of all, $13,000 room to get all my ammo back. That's not even talking about my special weapons. All of my med kits are gone. <clears throat> this dude has a fucking death wish. All right, let's be real. That's really all I need. All right, biggest investment to get back are gonna be the med kits. Just cause I have 55 fucking slots for them. It's, I don't think that they thought that out with the new game plus thing and you know, like, that's fine. New, like the new game, the new game plus thing was just. Gee, I love it. It increases the replay value so much. But I don't think that they thought about this specific problem. All right, let me get my guns back. Jesus spacer annihilated. That's my sidearm. Optimism. Stupidly long range shotgun. Fuck out of here. Um, maybe in the specials? Yeah. M16. And then, the perfect sniper is the Blood Dragon sniper. You see? Setting record, you said it in. All right, we're helping Marl. Great, just great. Hey, bastard, fuck off, what do I do? Pegas have got to be fueling my ride. Check out the golden valley. Oh, this one's this one's a bit of a pain. I'm not gonna lie to you, Marl, you're busting my balls. You gotta go in kind of stealth like. Cause I really fucking hate it when they drive off with the car. I'm so bad at car chases in this game. Like I'll spend hours on it. And it's unfortunate. It's like for, for why? Like 45 seconds tops for a normal game? Got to get that piercing ammo in. Deputy, I am Mo. Is my truck there? It's gotta be. Peggy's wouldn't have made it that far.
I was too late there. Don't get in the fucking car. Where'd the dog go? No, where did my dog go? That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Don't worry, Armando. I'm just stealing a truck from you guys. I'm honking the horn for you, Marl. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Glad that I've gotten that list off my mind. It's been pressing for a little while. Only choice I had was to prep for what was coming. So I set up my place. Stocked up ten. Ah shit. Only choice I had was to prep for what was coming. I'll save you, Marley. Give me a moment. I got faith someone will pick me up. I just took down a helicopter. <laughs> it's fucking muff cabbage behavior. All right, yeah, fuck it. We'll go through the, uh, in my opinion, that's live and animated TV shows. Alright. I'm looking at the list. It's all adult animated TV shows. So, if you're looking for stuff like Adventure Time, I'm sorry, homie. I appreciate it. It's, it's a super fun show. It's not on my top 10, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that that's just Um. So, yeah, like... I definitely appreciate... Like, kids' shows. Sort of deal. I'm still a fan of a couple of them. I, uh, I actually just checked out the uh, Scooby Doo, Curry the Cowardly Dog crossover episode just before playing. But when I'm looking for animation for the most part, I am looking for more adult like Disney stories. I really don't need morals taught to me by cartoons anymore. Oh, damn. Where did Marl go? Like, I, I, I don't need morals taught to me by cartoons. Um, so for that reason, like, I just, I don't really watch its cartoons anymore, but top five on the anime. This is a little dicey because I love all of these, like, like all of these got a special place in my heart, but like the top three, and these are interchangeable really, okay? Like this is really no particular order. It's American Dad, South Park. Futurama. Alright, coming in at number four and five are King of the Hill and Bojack Horseman. Some of the best TV shows.
Mo, you're worrying me, buddy. God damn it. I can't get into the dead wish unless I pick up Mo. You know what's good. Your yokel ass, don't pick me up. I shouldn't call him a yokel. I also have a mullet. Bro, are you kidding me? I'm alive and deep. I'm, I'm alive and dudes. That was low key clean. He said he recorded. We said he. Morrow, get the fuck in here. Morrow, if you don't get the fuck in here. So I decked out my place. Sucked up ten years worth of food. Put together air and water filtrations. I was at it for months. Ready to stick it out. If that killed me, I probably would have cried. Dan is making me look bad right now. Alright, let's go get this bread tomorrow. I usually I usually pop out the car for this. But I think I'm just gonna let it. Like, 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 literally, like, I, I run these overs, like, like, over, and then I just kind of go and I shoot people. But I think I'm going to enable Merle to live his best life on this one. I want him to enjoy this. For the free car, Jit. Alright, Clutch Nixon is over here, I think. Maybe I did this one? God damn, how much did I do? Fuck, how much did my sister do? I forget, last time I set this, like, last time this game was up, it was like, before it hurt. She was too soft. Poor girl just couldn't get good. One of the saddest things I've ever done seen in my entire life, I tell you what.
Oh, they're so fucked. Okay, so this is gonna take a minute to get down. <coughs> the next five. Five, six, seven, eight. On my animated TV show, like top ten. Are you true? Ain't a better show. The Simpsons. It's pretty solid. I'll give it that. I'm not much of a Simpsons guy. But I rock with it. Nope. Oh, fuck that. Like, I rock with the Simpsons. If it's like the last available option, I can fuck with Family Guy. I just prefer not to. Following that are two... My only issue with the next two shows are that they're just not really mine. You know, like, I love them and they would be a lot higher on my list if they ran longer, but they just couldn't and that's very understandable. Um, but the next two do hold a very special spot. And those are... <laughs> Lucas Bros Moving Co. and Mr. Pickles. Both shows are just gods here. The feats of strength that Mr. Pickles has pulled off cannot be ignored. I thought, I thought that was a hostage. You're bait now. But yeah, I, 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 I'm real big on Mr. Pickles. I also like Mama Named Me Sheriff. I think it's pretty solid. I think it's dumb, but like, those are... Those are literally meant to be dumb shows just to be enjoyed. You know? So, that, those are the top 10 with the animated ones. I'm fairly calm, like, comfortable in those choices. You feel me? Like, I'll take that any day. Mm, give me your skin. I'm sorry, dog. Please go get better. Okay. Oh. Um, that's it for the animated list. I, I think that the animated list was a little harder for me to come up with because that's what I mainly watch. Like, I, uh. I prefer those to live action. It's harder for me to get involved in a live action show just because, like, they usually have more of a plot. I can't follow all that shit. I got, I got a life, dog. So, yeah, there are a few different live action TV shows that I did follow through, and I think I made some solid choices on doing it. Let me reset my recording. Young Honey again. If you've been enjoying this video, I think you may enjoy my new project, Healthy Water. Please go check it out if you got a chance. Link is in the description and uh, the music is pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Either way, thanks for your time. Back to the video. I appreciate you. You set. And so the top three gotta be Breaking Bad community and weeds i think that community is probably like the only sitcom that i really 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 love like wholeheartedly just because i'm really not a sitcom kind of guy got a few of them on here just because like 
how much does Hollywood really offer you in terms of, you know, TV like that. But, but, I will give it this. Weeds just hits different. So does Community, and so does Breaking Bad. So, I think that Community is just a lot more heartfelt <clears throat> than a lot of sitcoms. And I think that they, they, they have some geniuses on that show. That should not have ever been on that show, but they, they had to go to Korea somehow. Um, there's this flawless. Breaking Bad, like, if y'all ain't know about Breaking Bad, y'all gotta go and learn about Breaking Bad. Shit's amazing. And with Weeds, I just... It, Nancy Bob and Weeds are how not to trap guy. It's amazing. And it, 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 they jumped the shark in the last few seasons. And I love when shows do that. I'm... I know that a lot of people find that it's kind of like lazy writing or like disappointing sometimes. I think that shit's always hilarious. Like, I, I can't help it. Like, it's literally just saying, get fucked. And they actually did it fairly well. I, I was very content with the fi like final episode. I love the blue dog thing. Like, I'm not gonna try to be spoiling everything, but like, I love the dude, like, the new dog art. I thought that was amazing. Number four, I, uh, I don't really fuck with Marvel anymore. But, like, mainly just because I don't have Disney Plus, so it's hard to keep track of. I'm a broke boy. But, um, I really, really, really loved Punisher. I think, I think the Punisher and Daredevil series were both phenomenal. I think that they brushed through with those. And number five, I got, I got The Office just because it's a classic. I'm really, really, really not a sitcom guy. I, I haven't seen The Office in years, but I still recognize a quote every time I see it. I still, like some quotes still live rent free in my head. Like, I think about the Clevin a lot. I think that Kevin was low-key a genius for that. He got away with that, like, on a corporate level for decades. He invented a new concept in mathematics. That's remarkable. So, I did have to put the office on this list, like, 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 it, it, it's, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, it gotta be, be wrong if it wasn't. I don't gotta put friends on here, but, like, I do gotta put the office on here. Coming in at number six, I got Wilfred. I really appreciate that Daniel Radcliffe and Elijah Wood just took really weird fucking roles after having major blockbusters. And Wilfred was just both incredibly relatable and just such a ridiculous concept. I, I like to imagine that my dog and I are like that. And it's just really funny to me. Uh, number seven, hugely recommend if you guys like like drama sort of deal, Peaky Blinders. Cillian Murphy did such a good performance every single season. And you got Tom Hardy. You, you, you got you got Aunt Polly coming in, you got so many good arcs, so many different good stories and well thought out characters that really, really, really do benefit the dynamic of the show. I love it. Number eight, I got It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because that shit is just gas. I, I, I don't think I found a show that gives less of a fuck other than South Park. Number nine, this is another drama one. Uh, we talking Flake from Will I Met. I, uh, I didn't like this as much as some of his other like movie work and TV show work just because I love both. I love Bo Jack Horseman. The next, the next TV show on the list, number ten, is Arrested Development. I, I literally watch anything with Will I Met in it. I fucking love Will I Met. I can't, I can't overstate that. Like he's just great actor, great dude. Like. 
intimacy and everything. So yeah, great design here. Uh, number 10 is Arrested Development. I, they're, they're another show that jumped the shark towards the end, but holy shit. Holy shit. They established such good repeating jokes. Like, like they're one-offs here. We're, we're well thought out in the sense that like they make it sense in the context of the show. It was great. Big, big uh, Arrested Development. I, I, fuck, I might have to watch either Arrested Development or Community again. I really might have to do it. Um. What are you doing? So yeah, those are those are the top ten like for animated and live action. Can't thank you enough for getting rid of And that's just kind of the way that that has to be for me. Like I, I definitely feel as though those are the best calls in my opinion. You know, for me personally. But um I do have a top five list set up. Resetting recording, recording reset. All right, what are we gonna do? I want, I want high value missions right now. We're, we're going to Ryan and Son Xavier mission. Um, fuck, what is that? Right, my top five. Okay, this is my top five overall. Y'all are gonna watch any TV shows that I recommend. All right, the, the, these are probably the top five. All right, and I'll explain why. Number one on this one. Like, these are both live action and animated. Like, these are the creme de la crap. You feel me? Get away from that bus. First one's American Dad. American Dad has aged like fine wine. It's beautiful. I I can't begin to express how much I fucking love American Dad. I watch that show just about every single night before I go to bed. American Dad is, without a doubt, like my biggest comfort show. I'm in a real jam here. Bro, we don't have time to talk. Let, let, let's do it. Get my plane and bring it back so I can get my family out of here. Um. There's a lot going on in here. But yeah, American Dad is just something I keep on when I fall asleep. It keeps getting better as it goes on. And I have a feeling it's because the writing staff just isn't as burnt out as it used to be. They've gotten some new blood in there and it's just, it hits so good. It's so fucking good now. If you if you enjoyed early American Dad and you haven't had the pleasure of checking out new American Dad because you thought it fell off. I got a surprise for you. But on to the next one. Breaking Bad. That show is just tremendous. Like, even the filler episodes, even the fucking fly episode, just blew my mind. And the way that you watch Walter devolve into the person that he becomes is just, it's 
one of the best written story arcs. Why? <laughs> Vince Gilligan knew what he was doing there. And he fucking went in. So like, there's that with Breaking Bad. The show also had some of the coldest moments that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I can't begin to express like confusion at some of the actions that the characters take, like had taken. And I haven't been able to figure it out like even since. And I think that's pretty fucking cool. God damn it. Dude's getting to the alarms. God damn it, I think he's about to get to one. I don't know how to cut him off quick enough. Damn. Oh, you went to the wrong alarm, fool. But yeah, Breaking Bad has some of the coldest moments I've seen in television. The writing is just... Magnifique. And then number three is weeds. You know, it, it, I, I talked about it a little bit. I, <laughs> I fucking love weeds. Like I think I think that it captures so much so well, and it gets so goofy out of nowhere. The show has so much heart. It goes so hard. The characters are so funny, and they keep the same cast. And you really get to watch a few of the characters like grow the fuck up like throughout the entire show. Like you watch a kid like go from fucking toddler to being nearly a whole ass adult. So then Following this, at number four, I got King of the Hill. King of the Hill is something special to me. Oh, um, that, that's that's another comfort show. Um, I can't, I can't King of the Hill is a massive comfort show for me. I think that it's all. Um, Bro, what the fuck? I, th I think King of the Hill just... It just hits differently. There's something special about watching someone talk about propane like that. Just... Hank just loves propane so much. If I was half as passionate... About anything... As much as Hank was about propane, oh my god, I'd be so much further ahead in life. And then number five. It's Mr. Pickles. I, 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 I'm a pretty big Mr. Pickles fan. What the fuck is happening? What? Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Mr. Pickles is fucking fire. You got you got a satanic dog just standing shit up. And his, <coughs> his physically and maybe mentally handicapped buddy. Somehow does not notice this dog doing all that. Genius. Genius. Fucking comedy. 
That's 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 how that's how you make a show. Alright, I did the left wing. He deserves it. Resetting important. Resetting. Man, I think this is one of my favorite Far Cry maps just because it's so... So Midwest. Like, I can't help it. The aesthetic is just... That was a civilian boat. Take it easy. I got you, buddy. There's no doubt. I can't explain it now, but you're the future of humanity, and so is your daughter, Carmina. Nick, you fit the bill. Damn, what's crazy is this game survives the events of Fallout 5, or Far Cry 5. I've been saying Fallout, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Um, <coughs> but yeah, this plan survives the end of this game, and that, that's pretty impressive. session by taking John's whole region. <laughs> you know? God damn it. I fucked that. I do think, hmm, I'm a little bit torn. I'm not sure if I should do all of John's region, like immediately, after I kill him, or if I should move on to the next, and then just go back and do all of that. But if I do that, I may not have the motivation to Yeah, I, mean, I, I know this game a lot better than Fallout. Currently procrastinating doing just that with Fallout. I will see you there soon, Slick.
Me and Nick, I'm fairly confident. I know how to land, buddy. We got him his plane. We got him his plane. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at her. Son of a bitch, you did it! You did it, thank you! Jim! Oh man. Him. For the future of humanity, your son and daughters must survive. I won't ruin the gender with you. Yeah, I can't let you guys go and fuck with Kim. The wrong explosive. Jeez. You suck. Hey, maybe you can help us with the luggage. I'm open to helping you with your luggage, Nick Rye. I love them. What you talking about, John? Did I? Did I? I haven't even liberated your region yet. Alright, we're gonna go help out Grace. Resetting? Reset. This is gonna be the last mission I do. I was hoping to get to John. 
today. Um, but I think if I wait to do it tomorrow, I'd be more mo or the next day, I'd be more motivated to kind of go through, you know, all the missions in this region before moving on to the next one. And I think the next one I'm gonna move on to is gonna be Jacobs. Um, just cause that. Your soul is it's such a pain to do the only you thing. <clears throat> I have an only you type beat just because of how much I had to fucking listen to it. I'm pretty sure two companions are allowed here. And I'm pretty sure I have two companions who would likely be very helpful. <clears throat> God, shut the fuck up, John. Did not mean to do that. They getting chewed, chewed up. Uh, I might have time for some more hijinks. 
You're not Grace. You are Grace. Thanks for that. You got time to talk? I owe you. Not a lot of people would have stuck their neck out. If you need help killing Peggy's, give me a call. I owe you. Alright, how far are we? From actually doing this. Fifteen hundred. I don't know, boss. Here. I'll put in all these perks. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to call it a night. Peace out, y'all. I appreciate you.